how to edit a YouTube short using AI. Shorts are a great way to blow up on YouTube, allowing you to get hundreds if not thousands of views and subscribers overnight. But making shorts on top of long form content is just way too much work. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use AI to edit my own YouTube shorts. From letting AI cut out all of the dead air, awkward pauses, to choosing my best takes, adding subtitles and much, much more. Let's get started. Now we're in Veed, I'm going to click upload a file and choose the video for my YouTube short. Give that a moment to load and if your video is a vertical file you'll see the feed automatically changes the frame size to fit that format. However, if you did want to use a 16 to 9 video clip film for YouTube then you're gonna need to resize it. It's very simple to do. Just click settings in the toolbar, click size and scroll down and select YouTube short. Next, I'm gonna use our first AI tool. So above the timeline here, you'll see Magic Cut, click on that and then click Social Media Clip. The AI software is now gonna take all of my raw footage and transform that into an edited social media clip. In one click, the AI will choose my best takes, remove any oohs as M's or awkward pauses, and lastly, it even adds automatic subtitles. This Magic Cut button is a lifesaver when it comes to editing and batch creating content like YouTube Shorts. Because I'm now gonna use that time that I've saved to spruce up my shorts, I'm gonna add some visual extras like animated subtitles and images, and I'm also gonna insert some background music. And all of these added extras are gonna help my YouTube Shorts performance. Let me show you how I quickly edit and animate my own subtitles because this is such a common trend on YouTube Shorts. You want your video subtitles to be bold, bright, and easy to read. This is going to expand your audience to those people who are hard of hearing and those who like to scroll social media without using any headphones. So click subtitles in the toolbar and if you've spotted any words that are wrong, you can delete it and type out the correct word. Click on the styles tab and I'm now gonna choose one of these pre-made templates you see here and I can tweak any aspect of it using the options below. For engagement on YouTube Shorts, it's always better to show or demonstrate whatever it is that you're referring to in order to hold your audience's attention. So for this, I wanna add some visual elements, I'm gonna add some images. I'm gonna put my playhead to the point in the timeline that I want my image to appear on screen and then click media in the toolbar. Click upload a file and then choose my image. I'm gonna resize and reposition it. Then I'm gonna shorten the duration it stays on screen by pushing it over to the left in the timeline. And lastly, I'll click on animation. I'm gonna select one of these options here to give the image some movement. Now the last thing that we're gonna add is background music. I'll head into Veed stock music, find the appropriate track and add it to my timeline. I'm gonna to need to shorten it over so that it ends in sync with my video. And then I'm gonna lower down the volume of the music and now we can go ahead and we can export our YouTube short. Click done in the top right hand corner where you see quality, click next to it. Choose your render settings, make sure burn subtitles is marked as on and then go back and click export video. We're gonna give that a moment to render and then we can watch it back to see how it turned out. Okay guys, so we are now here at this like lookout point. The bar itself is called lookout. It's in these like lovely gardens. So you can just sit here. Lastly, click download and download MP4. And that's it. That's how to edit a YouTube short using AI with some added extra features just to make your YouTube shorts stand out. I really hope you found this video helpful. And if you want my complete guide on how to create YouTube shorts using three different methods, I'm gonna pop my video for that on screen now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.